if the meniscus is torn, but just partially, a lot of doctors will tell you, well, it's not going to heal. Yoga teachers will probably tell you something else. What a yoga teacher with a lot of um, experience might tell you is that your knee joint can adapt. A small tear at your meniscus, a little tear in there. You might always have the tear, but you don't necessarily have to have pain. At the beginning, you will. You'll notice it every time you cross your legs. You'll notice a little pain. But if the tear is small enough, with regular practice, your knee joint can actually adapt um, because the muscles can get more flexible in the hips and stronger at the thigh. Earlier, we said that in the lunge position, we want to strengthen the vastus medialis. Anybody who has knee issues, whether a tear or any other, should really focus on that teardrop-shaped muscle. That muscle is generally weak. The more we can strengthen it, the more we can support our knee stability. Once we do have a knee problem, probably the best single thing to do in yoga is the combination of Virasana, known as hero's pose, Virasana, and downward dog. The combination of these two promotes circulation in our knee joint. It, it closes our knee joint with flexion in Virasana, and it opens the knee joint with extension in downward facing dog. So let me just show these two postures. In Virasana, we want our knees together and our feet apart. We can roll our calf muscles out and sit backwards between our heels. This is full flexion of the knee joint. This is not, <clears throat> excuse me, this is not something that most people can do very readily. So does that mean they can't do it? No, not at all. Can you throw me the block? Pitch it right in, thank you. So whether a block or a large pillow, we just have to take that behind our hips if we have trouble sitting in this posture, we can sit up on a block or cushion. So what I feel in my knees here, another person might feel the exact same thing when they're sitting in Virasana on a, on a pillow or a block. Full flexion of the knee. This is called medial rotation of the, of the thigh or the hip, rotating in. And I'm closing everything off, bringing a certain amount of um, attention to this area. Another posture that we can do is Supta Vidasana, <clears throat> lying flat. And that's a wonderful stretch for the hips that might limit our knee flexibility. When we stretch this area of our hips, then we're helping our knees to be more flexible in postures like Lotus. Once we've done Virasana in any form or another, we should often counter it with knee extension. This is knee flexion. Now I'll slowly, the key word is slowly, come into knee extension. One leg, the other, coming into downward facing dog. And you might even pedal. So this movement using a lot of patience. I can't stress enough how much we really need patience. If we have a knee injury, especially if we have a meniscal tear, we can sit like this for a while, we could lie back, feel free to read a book. <laughs> Anything that could get you to be patient in this pose and then into down dog. That will really bring circulation and a lot of therapy to the knee joint where we might otherwise feel that we're never going to heal our knee joint.